Hey, what is up everyone? Here's how to create word cloud in Canva. Now, in reality, it's actually not that easy in order for us to do it in Canva. It can take some time for us because we have to organize every single words. Now, to do this one, what we are going to do is just add some elements here from Canva. Say, for example, I'm going to click the elements here and I'm going to go ahead and just add a few things. Say, for example, okay, this one. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and try to add this one. I'm going to put it in this shape right here. So this is actually a square and we are going to use a square for this one. Now, after adding it, I'm just going to go ahead and rename this one. I'm going to call this one the wolf. And then I can go ahead and click the share button and then click download. And then we're going to download it as PNG. All right, so we have the wolf there already. Now we're going to head over to wordclouds.com. Now from this point forward, what we are going to do is just click the file here, and then we're going to choose word cloud background. Now here, choose the image option, and then you can go ahead and basically upload the wolf that you have just created earlier. So this is the one, go ahead and hit apply, and then you can go ahead and click the shape, select shape, and then we're going to go ahead and hit the upload once again. We're going to put the one that we have uploaded here as well. Click apply. And here is what we have. Now, as you can see, it is off by a little bit, but don't worry, it doesn't really matter very much. Now here we can go ahead and add a word list. So click this one right here. And then in my case, I'm just going to choose this option here. So I have these words already prepared. I'm just going to go ahead and copy them all and then paste them here and then hit apply. All right, so as of the moment, this is just what we have, but don't worry, we're going to change it. Go to word list, edit, and then we can go ahead and add some values here. So I'm just going to go ahead and choose from one to five, say for example, um, let's go ahead and start at five. So I'm just going to go ahead and basically trying to put something here. Okay, there you go. So I've already added some weight or numbers in there. I'm going to hit apply. After doing so, you can see that it is changing and you can see that it's trying to fit entirely to the shape that we have. And yep, if I were to zoom out, you should be able to see this one here. And that is how you're going to get this done, everybody.